Hello, this is Dr. Philip Mies, Director of Rheumatology Research at Swedish Medical Center and Clinical Professor at the University of Washington School of Medicine in Seattle, Washington. I will be discussing the abstract, Bustakinumab is superior to TNF inhibitor treatment in resolving enthesitis in PSA patients with active enthesitis. Results from the enthesial clearance in psoriatic arthritis study by Elizabeth Araujo and colleagues. This abstract was presented at the American College of Rheumatology meeting in November, 2017. I selected this abstract because this study focuses on the theory that inhibition of IL-23 is effective in enthesitis-driven PSA patients. Ustekinumab is a combined inhibitor of IL-12 and 23 FDA approved for PSA in 2013. This study provides a new and statistical response to the pathway of the IL-23, highlighting the enthesitis response and compares the efficacy of ustekinumab with TNF inhibitor treatment to clear enthesitis in PSA patients. Patients with PSA and active enthesitis, at least one painful enthesis on SPARC, LEADS, or Maastricht indices were enrolled one-to-one -one receiving either standard doses of ustekinumab or TNF inhibitor. There were 23 patients in the ustekinumab treated arm and 24 in the TNF inhibitor treatment arm. The primary endpoint uh, was SPARC enthesitis resolution after six months. Patients were seen every three months and followed for a total of six months. What were the key findings? After six months, 70.8% of ustekinumab treated patients and 38.4% of TNF inhibitor treated patients reached the primary endpoint defined as clearance of enthesitis or a SPARC score of zero. The results suggest that ustekinumab may be superior to a TNF inhibitor in resolving the enthesitis component of disease in a population of PSA patients characterized by active enthesial disease. The SPARC enthesitis scoring system was more discriminative in ability to show statistically significant response than the LEADS enthesitis index. Before beginning my analysis, let's hear about some of the study's highlights from Dr. Araujo's perspective. These are her words. First, it is fair to say that most studies conducted in PSA to date focused on patients with predominantly polyarticular joint disease. Despite the fact that enthesitis is a common manifestation of this disease, and reason for disability in these patients, it doesn't get much attention in clinical trials. We conducted this study in a group of PSA patients who had enthesitis as their predominant musculoskeletal manifestation and compared their response to two different types of cytokine blockage. Secondly, enthesitis was measured in this study through three different scoring systems, the Maastricht, SPARC, and leads enthesitis indices, giving a very good assessment of the enthesial burden on these patients. Finally, our results support the concept that the IL-23, IL-17 pathway has a pivotal role in the development of enthesitis. In countries like Germany, where both classes of biologics are approved for the treatment of PSA, it will allow physicians to take a more targeted approach while treating patients with this condition, including enthesitis. Our study shows that in patients who have a more enthesial-driven disease, the response to blocking the IL-12-23 pathway seems to have a superior effect as opposed to using a TNF blocker. Here are my own thoughts and analysis of the study. My first take home from this trial is a methodological one. It seems that the SPARC enthesitis in index, which assesses 18 different enthesial sites, 
is more discriminative than the Leeds Enthesitis Index, which measures just six. On average, the baseline score in this study was just over four sites being tender with the SPARC Index and just over one with the Leeds. So simply by assessing more sites, it appears to be statistically better, at least in this relatively small study. In this comment, I'm focusing on the SPARC and the Leeds because these are the uh, two enthesial indices that are now most commonly used in PSA trials, whereas the Maastricht is used most com commonly in trials of axial spondylarthritis. When one couples the results of IL-17 inhibitor trials, wherein there is very good data on enthesitis resolution, one wonders whether there may be some differentiation of effectiveness between blockade of the IL-23, IL-17 axis versus other treatment mechanisms for the clinical domain of enthesitis. This question will be better addressed in the future when we see the results of larger head-to-head -head studies with differing classes of agents.